Thank you very much for the other day. I was just saying I acquired some lemons recently, a gift from Mr. Fortune. Thanks to him, I was able to give some lemon juice to my patients. A spot of lemon juice isn't going to cure their cholera. It restores some of the waters I've lost, nothing more. Right. Finding a cure is still our highest priority, and I've been searching high and low for any leads at all. But so far... I am, as much as I hate to admit it. We simply don't have enough data. If I could just get my hands on some Western medical texts, I might learn something new. In that case, why not try our luck at the British Regation? What? Why there? Odio, you can't be suggesting. Okay, technically we'd be steering. But do we have a choice? Dr. Ine seems prepared to do what it takes. So I heard some rumors while I was locked up. Something about a shogunate official with a collection of books seized from the Westerners. And all of those seized texts are at the British Regation, since they keep all seized goods there. Even though they're still rebuilding from that fire. The British Legation? I can't imagine requesting a text officially would work either. Well, if this is the only hope we've got, then I'm in. How about you? Will you help us? I am grateful, and I will repay you. Now, shall we be on our way? I know it's a lot to ask, but please try to avoid bloodshed. I don't want anyone to get hurt. There's no medical book I've ever seen before. I dare to hope it contains useful information.
Some manner of medicine. Let's take it back for Dr. Narasaki to get in this illustration. A night from somewhere. He could well be connected to a cholera treatment. I'm curious what else in my <coughs> But this is plenty for now. Come, let's get out of here. Can't say I'm impressed with your thieving skills. Ah, I was just thinking I could use some entertainment. I'm so bored I nearly dozed off a minute ago. Guards. They must have been watching us all along. I think I might just have to let you. But please, be careful. You're not going to die on me today. Time for this. You think you can take us on all by yourself? Yeah. I'm impressed. Work for me. Yeah. Do me a favor. That bleach is good for good Prepare yourself!
of smoke! Insolent wit! We will deal with you later! I was really rather worried for a moment back there. But it looks like we've made some progress at last. Thank you for avoiding unnecessary bloodshed. I knew I was right to place my trust in you. It isn't much, but here. A token of my appreciation. Damn fools, the two of you. A doctor running around nearly getting herself killed. What has the world come to? Oh, right. I took a closer look at what the two of you brought back. I think it might be Sincona Bark, an effective natural remedy for fever. You can use Sincona Bark to create something called quinine. I've heard quinine can keep some of the symptoms of cholera under control. I was at a complete loss before, but I think this is our way forward. We have to try it. Quinine is a potent medicine, but that makes it all the more dangerous. If we are not careful, our patients will only suffer more. Then we just have to make sure we're careful. If there's the slightest hope of lessening their pain, we have to seize the opportunity. The books we brought back will likely have information we can use. I'm sure there's something we can do. Let me assist you, Dr. Ine. I've never seen medical documents like these, ever. Certainly not in Japan. My father and I will do whatever it takes to get through them. Thank you. Both of you. I hope I can count on your help, too. <laughs> it might make all the difference in saving another life. How do you... Hello there. You know, I, I realize I've asked plenty of you in the past, but uh, there's a certain matter I'd rather like your help with. It's uh, a bit of a sensitive matter, if you know what I mean. That is to say, I... I've fallen in love with someone at first sight. I have to woo this wonderful woman. Do you... Do you think you could help me? Oh, thank you! She's... well, her beauty escapes words. Uh, 
Frankly, I've only seen her from afar a few times, but she has already won my heart. I just need a good way to approach her. I, I'm afraid I'm far more familiar with handling plants than I am women. I don't know if I have the courage. Maybe if I could show her how I feel without needing to say a word. Hmm. Yes. Surely nobody takes offense at receiving a gift. But, uh, what should I give her? Ah, a good question. Aha! I've got it! What if I gave her a beautiful flower? An appropriate gesture, given my interests, is it not? Then it's settled. In fact, just the other day, I spotted a remarkable bloom in the forest near Ichigaya Hachiman. A beauty befitting my beauty. Ah, but uh, I don't want to risk being attacked again. I hate to ask, but um, do you think you could retrieve the flower for me? I've procured some fine wares. Please, come again. Hey!
This is it! Precisely the flower I had in mind. Thank you. Words cannot express my gratitude, my friend. The Belladonna Lily. Its name means beautiful lady, you know. A perfect match for my beloved. Ah, yes. Another friend of mine has agreed to help me with my fateful proclamation. Let me introduce you. So you're Robert's talented friend. I knew you were good with a sword, but I didn't realize you also dabbled in matters of the heart. Oh, already met Rutherford, have you? I owe my talented friend my very life. I'd trust them with it and more. Now, since we've got the flower in hand, we just need to present it to her. She's a geisha in the Yoshiwara district. She goes by Miss Usugumo. Then you are already familiar with her resplendent beauty. That makes things all the easier. Well, shall we make way for Yoshiwara to meet Usugumo? I appreciate your support. Oh, I'm so nervous and excited my heart could beat right out of my chest. Let's find Usugumo. Oh, I'm so nervous, my head is spinning. I dare say your nerves speak to the strength of your feelings. Surely won't be lost upon your lady. Right, we've arrived. Ah, <laughs> oh, how lovely to see you. And so many of you today. Now, what brings you to Yoshiwara today? Yes, I, uh, ever since I first saw you, I wanted to tell you, ah, here, a, a token of my admiration. Oh. What a beautiful flower. Is this a gift for me? Hmm. Your gesture means ever so much. I shall never forget it. Not even when this flower has withered and died. Here I thought I'd pay my Usugumo a visit. Didn't think I'd have to put up with her foolish customers too. Who the hell gives a girl a dumb flower? How dare you! Miss Usigumu will not fraternize with the likes of you. Leave us at once. <sighs> Savages everywhere. You. Isn't this what you're here for? Just don't outright kill the man, hear me? I'm not about to get on the wrong side of the law. I have a go. All right, you asked for it. I had my eye on her first, damn it.
that we should. <laughs> you are very thoughtful when it comes to your friends, I see. <clears throat> I am truly glad that the flower was to your liking. I never got to introduce myself. My name is Robert Fortune. There are many beautiful flowers in the world that nearly rival your beauty. If you were to wish it, I would gladly give you every last one of them. I cannot imagine anything more wonderful. I promise to be here awaiting you. I never knew such beautiful flowers could grow outside Yoshiwara. I hope you will be so kind as to show me more. Well, I must thank you all for today. I hope we will get to know one another over a little drink in the near future. Until next time. Hello! Oh, things are proceeding well with Miss Usugumu, thanks to you. Every flower I bring her thrills her to no end. And yet, flowers can only do so much. She likens herself to a bird, you know. A bird trapped in a cage. And so I have decided I will free her from the Yoshiwara. I will need plenty of money, far more than I currently have, to do so. I will simply have to keep gathering flowers and make as much money as I can. I'm counting on your patronage. Come to me for all your botanical needs. <laughs> Ah, it's you. Ah, good to see you. Sorry about our uh, chat in Yoshiwara. I did mention I had something else to share with you, I believe. It's about my tuberculosis research, as you might have guessed. My time in America has taught me many things. Among them was a striking new theory that disease is caused by the presence of organisms so small they are invisible to the human eye. I remember Sawamura said there are poisons able to counteract others. If these organisms cause tuberculosis, what if we could poison them? Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, have you too been entranced by Mr. Fukuzawa's grand hypothesis? Mr. Fortune is an expert in poisonous plants. I asked him to assist in looking into my theory. I'm afraid I have bad news on that front. I scoured my many books on the subject, but was unable to identify any plants that might suit your needs. Ah, that's a pity. Thank you for trying. I did, however, stumbled upon an interesting piece of local folklore. Did you know that the bamboo here produces small golden flowers only once every 120 years? 
When this happens, it releases a toxin-like substance from its roots. They say that an alchemist once used these toxins to cure a pulmonary disease. That sounds rather hard to believe. What do you think? Yes, I agree. You know, I heard the bamboo at Ryusenji Temple is currently flowering. I think I just might go there. It's a long shot, but it's all I've got. I would be very glad if you decide to join me. Do come if you can. Thank you for coming. Unfortunately, I must be the bearer of bad news. I was turned away by the temple guard. He is on watch for burglars, apparently. Those bamboo flowers supposedly fetch a great sum on the market. If someone makes off with them, I won't know where to look for those toxins. They're actually considered unlucky, but collectors do have unusual tastes. I suppose we have little choice. This is our only chance. Who knows when the next bamboo tree will flower? Surely the temple won't mind if I just gather the soil from around the tree. Now, if Mr. Fortune's right, we just have to look for those small golden flowers. So, shall we make our way into the temple? Ah, uh, I must insist beforehand. Under no circumstances should you kill anyone. I can never stand for causing death in the pursuit of preserving life. Come on then. We should move when we will not be seen. Never saw it coming. Ah! 
Silence as a shadow. Beautiful specimen, but no flowers to be seen. No. The bamboo in Meguro is remarkable. I'll hold on to some for now. Awesome tear either. Let's look elsewhere. Lot of me. Who do you think you are?
you a lesson! Yeah! All right, you blasphemous vandals! Allow me to administer your last right! Venerable sir, please hear us out. In the West, they say they are organists. Hold your tongue, boy! I don't give a damn! Now prepare yourself! Sir, please be calm yourself. It's not the bamboo blossoms we want. Hmm. You don't seem like ordinary burgers. What is your business here? <laughs> My name is Yukichi Fukuzawa. I am a scholar of medicine. Can I take some soil from around that tree? For, for medical purposes, of course. I would have beaten you brack and brew if you were another one after those flowers. But it's the soil you want. Ha <laughs> ha! Take what you need. We did it. And without spilling any blood. Who gave you the idea to use the soil for medical purposes? That would be Mr. Robert Fortune. Huh. Of course he did. <laughs> He's a sharp one. Kindly, give me some of that soil. I... I'm not sure I should. Should we give some to her and have her tell us more? Thank you. I believe this soil might hold the key to a cure for tuberculosis. And I'm not about to lose more of my soldiers to that foul disease. There she goes. She seemed certain that this soil is the key. Could we really be closer to curing tuberculosis? Thou to breach nothing. Faith breeds the God's blessing. So says one of our teachings. Go forward with an unclouded heart. As you say, I must have faith. There is no time to waste. I will begin studying the soil at once. I will produce results. You'll see. I will make my mark on our country. No, on the entire medical field. Just watch.
Good day to you. Why, you're looking at him. Is that so? Let me take a look. Hmm, I see. I've always said exhibitions are a great way to drum up military support in addition to serving as an opportunity to sell Japanese products to the West. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Eiichi Shibusawa. I am in charge of the government treasury. I have some ideas for items that might garner attention abroad. Perhaps you could assist me? For instance, in procuring ukiyo-e paintings, lacquerware, or even satsuma pottery. Now, if only we had a contact who could help us. Ah, uh, this is knowledge I picked up in my youth. I used to travel here and there on business, you see. Oh, do you have a lead, perchance? Oh, you mean to say you're acquainted with her? Excellent. This should be smooth sailing. Can I ask you to take care of the Satsuma pottery, in that case? I'll send word to the Satsuma myself later. When you have made some progress, do let me know. Meanwhile, I shall endeavor to gather the other goods. Well, in that case, you may pass. Let Okubo know what your business is. He's by the north stage inside the house. Just make sure you're on your best behavior. So, are you ready? Good. In you go. Why? Go to the trouble of dismantling it. We must keep the peace within the clan. I fear that we have little choice. Kuroda, this is the one who helped me fend off the blue demon. Oh, I see. You're really something, huh? Kiyotaka Kuroda of the Satsuma at your service. What can I do for you today? Apparently, this no stage is going to be dismantled. Many in the Satsuma clan are far more interested in firearms than they are in the arts, you see. That's fine. But first things first. I'm under strict orders to inform a certain someone should you ever appear. I'm just going to get someone. In the meantime, perhaps you could show us your fighting prowess? 
We are almost eager to see more. That is a lot to ask of a guest. Come. Surely you are as intrigued as anyone. Show them what the Satsuma clan are capable of. Then allow us to test your metal. Here I come. Thank you for sparring with me. Both of you were most impressive. I owe you for your part in my encounter with the Blue Demon. I thank you. But might I ask from whence you hail? I see. Do you mean to say that you are a Ronin? Forgive my boldness, but anyone capable of defeating the Blue Demon should definitely be in the employ of the Satsuma. Kuroda is very keen for you to join the Satsuma clan. I share his hopes. What do you say? Very well. We will not pressure you. After all, a stray rather loses its charm if it's put on a leash. At the very least, you can aid us with this pottery. I received a letter explaining everything, you see? I shall arrange to have it sent to Shibusawa, or whomever it was. Come for pleasure next time, not business. We'll have a drink or two. Okubo included, of course. Count on it. 